Ooh, excuse me. Mother Nature is always picking the most inconvenient times to play her little tricks on me. But what can you do? Mother Nature is Mother Nature, and whatever Mother Nature wants is what Mother Nature gets, and there's nothing I can do about it. Speaking of which, I'm thirsty, so please give me a few minutes. I got to make sure that I'm not going to get parched. always refreshing. So let's talk about Webster Hubble. For those of you who don't know, Webster Hubble was one of the assisting, well this is where I really don't know much about the United States government, you know, because I know there's the Attorney General and there's the assisting Attorney General, but I don't know if there's like more than one. You know, it's been a while since I've studied American politics. Um, but anyway, so Webster Hubble was an assisting attorney general during the Clinton administration, and he also happened to be a very good friend of Bill Clinton and his wife Hillary, so much so that they both came from Arkansas together, you know, and Webster Hubble was actually a member of the law firm that Hillary Clinton was a member of in Little Rock, Arkansas. Okay, I... I need to double check something real quick. Hold on a minute. Ah, uh, you know, this is the problem with having dyslexia, is that, you know, you read something, but for whatever reason, the information just doesn't stay in your mind any longer than a couple of seconds. So let me see something. Webster Hubble was a longtime friend of Bill and Hillary Clinton. He was the former mayor of Little Rock and a law partner at the Little Rock R Rose Law Firm with Hillary Clinton. When Clinton won the presidency in 1992, he and Hillary brought a lot of their former friends along to Washington to work for the new administration. One of those was Hubble. I can't help but think that Little Rock is a city in Arizona, but I could be wrong. I think it's, I know that it's in Arkansas because Bill Clinton was governor of Arkansas before he became president of the United States. Oh, God, curse my dyslexia. You know, if my, if making a video like this does help other people to try and overcome their own dyslexia, then, you know, this video was obviously made for good intentions, and I'm glad that, you know, it helped somebody, you know, because, look, for those of you out there who are suffering from dyslexia like I am, you're not alone. I know what it feels like, you know, you read a book, it's a book that you're fascinated with, you're reading all the information that the author puts into the book, and you're absorbing all the information as much as you possibly can, but there's just something about your brain that just has a hard time trying to absorb the information and chronologically organize it into your head, you know, and sometimes that, that's what makes it hard for you when it comes to like trying to get your education, like when you take a test at school. So the best advice that I can give you is don't give up. You know, I know it's hard. It's hard for me too. And the only thing that I can tell you is just keep practicing. Don't ever give up. You will eventually get it. It may take time, but I can promise you that it'll be well worth the effort. So don't ever give up. You know, conquer your dyslexia. Don't let your dyslexia conquer you. So... I hope that you guys learned something of value today in this video, and I hope to see you guys again in the next video. God bless you.